page for the top 10 um, Fuji cam Fuji film cameras you know that's another topic that you know you can post about you can do a review digital cameras um, page if you want you can do a digital camera zoom um, post and these are some of the things these are what actually people are actually searching for so think about writing topics in these type of for, for these type of um, keywords to include in your topic or in your title page in your title of your blog post again you can see it, it has a 350 keywords but you know think about don't just go after the the high value keywords which is like digital camera It'd be too broad of a too broad of a, a keyword to actually try to rank for because be a, a lot of people who have more um, who are more experienced than you that will be ranking for that site so try a low, long tail keyword which is like you know Fuji digital cameras you know, 880 people are searching for that and this can be can turn into an authority site right now I'm just doing a mini site just to test it out and see you know how many sales I can get or how many people can actually come to that site and see if it's working so the model is Amazon so I'm basing it on Amazon so again I could type in you know Fuji, uh, S29 digital camera or I could type in um, Fuji film digital camera S29 or Fuji film uh, fine picks 20 S29 and see you know what else come up so what I'm gonna do is go to Google Insight which is here this is Google Trends sorry I'm gonna go Google Insight and see what see what keywords I can find now this gives you a worldwide search you could t um, brought it down to UK if you want to but I usually leave it on you know the default click search and this breaks down into countries and where people are actually searching for so as you can see the region interests you can see this top search for uh, terms so this can be some of your keywords here that you can put in S29 review, which of course I'll want to be one of my blog posts, or it might be the front page of the site. You can see um, S29 Fuji uh, Fintex Fintex F29. That can be another a topic, or another you know. These are top 10 topics, and also don't forget Ryzen searches. So this this is what else people are actually typing in. So Fuji film camera. Uh, sorry, not Fuji. Yeah, Fuji film camera. Fuji film camera 20 S29 50 is a breakout term. You know, to create a blog post about these, and if you want to dig deeper, you can click on the UK or whatever country you're in, and you can see there's 85 and 100 in Scotland. So I'm going to do England and see how many 100% in England. So a lot of people are searching for cameras in England, and this is what they're typing in into Google. So you can see you can do your research to uh, pinpoint exactly what keyword you need and see if any people see if a lot of people are searching for it. And again, I usually pick a thousand, but this site I'm just testing to see what happens and see how it goes. Since it's almost Christmas time and a lot of people are buying camera, and I'm thinking about buying a camera. I have one already, but I want like a SLR camera for when I go on vacation to take uh, great pictures. And then what I also check is Google Trends um, um, to see what people are typing in. And also, you can get an idea if you go back. Sorry, click the back. You can see what people are actually typing in also. This is Amazon.com, McDonald's.com. These are searches in the U.S. Uh, if you're based in the U.S., fine. You can get an idea of what's what's hot. What's a hot search? And they don't do it for the U.K. unfortunately. But I'm still going to use Google Trends to see what what trends to expect. So as you can see, I think this is when the camera launched, and since then it's been going upwards. A lot of people have been looking for it, and you can also create. Get, go to certain news sites and see what they see what they're saying about the camera or, or whatever product. Usually, it gives you news. You can see more results. So, right click, put that in the chat. You can see more results of some of the news that people are news that people are talking about the camera. And you can you know go read some of them and put those in your blog post or link to them. In fact, so that way you get some strong authority sites to link to. That way, Google thinks okay, he's linking to other people, so he's not afraid to share the Google juice with other with other sites that are actually talking about the camera and you know that camera site might link back to you you know, never know but as you can see here it breaks it down again the similar situation as Google Insights so you can click on the UK or wherever country you're at it gives you a breakdown of you know uh, Kensington a lot of this is a very affluent area a lot of people have the money to buy expensive cameras in that area so they might buy presents for people um, you can see London, Manchester, Poplar, and Birmingham. So you can break it down even further. So there's different cities and languages. Of course, it's England or English. 
uh, to Kensington, so you you target your uh, best cameras to buy in Kensington uh, post. This will ho hopefully the people that are searching for it in Kensington will find your site and they'll just click on it and go buy or go review it and buy it from Amazon because they trust Amazon. So and you know another thing is you got the Google Insight, the Google Trends. So these are some of the top things, top ways to research. You know the topic or the product or the service you're thinking about promoting on your website. Another thing I also use is SEM Rush. It's also a keyword research tool. I mean, there's multiple keyword research tools, but just in this example, I'll show you this 2950, which will also give you more. This is US. You can turn it to UK or whatever. I mean, it'll give you more. Um, more keywords to look for if you haven't found enough already. It says full full product match. I mean S twenty nine fifty. I really think it's 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 a UK product, so that's why it's not coming up for the UK. I mean it's called maybe called something different in the US. So let me just try something. I'm not too sure why it's it's doing that. Let me just try digital camera. But this is all live. I just this this is live. So there's no toying with the the data just to see. To make it show good results, but this is live that I'm doing it here, showing you guys exactly what things you need to do. Okay, the S2950 um, is not coming up. Um, let me just see what else I can type in. S2950. Okay, let's try this. Again, you can play around with the, your keywords, whatever keywords you choose to. The reason why I think S2950. Is because when people want a camera, I said it in the previous video, they're gonna type in the model and the type of camera to to that they're ready to buy. So you know, this this person who's actually searching for this is in a buying mode. Um, so I guess in this particular case, um, SEM Rush is not giving me some good results. But if you try another keyword, then you know you can find different things. Now, I know a lot of people will be searching for this, so you can make you know you can put um, you can see other different categories or different keywords you can think about to create blog topics from, and these can also be categories for your website. I mean, you don't have to just do um, you know Fuji Fuji film uh, Fuji film uh, cameras uh, is the only, but the main focus is for, is the S twenty nine fifty. But you can also talk about other digital cameras and how they compare to. Um, your camera or your site's camera or, or your product so think outside the box and is obviously this just shows you other organic results when you type in that so these are the four tools you can use and SEM rush is a good tool um, Google keyword tool which is what everybody use in the next video I'm going to show you uh, another tool that I use because I think this video is pretty long so far so you got Google keyword tools Go to Google, type in the product you want, make sure there's enough competition. Well, not enough competition, make sure there's minimum competition or enough to create the site about. You don't want to create a site that no one's looking for unless it's a new product that's coming out and you know about it. Um, you got Google Trends, Google Insight, and then again, you know, check in Google and see exactly, you know, what is the search result. So, this is a competition here. Don't worry about the Three million other people. This is your competition for to get on the first place of Google. And I'll show you another tool, another tool that you can use that shows you, you know, the strength of those competition. So basically, if you're not, you know, if you just want to find out, okay, can you really make it to the top ten um, on the first place of Google? Just check the sites on the top ten. I mean, if they're, if they're pretty, if they're mostly like um, product sites linking to like Amazon you have a chance of making it so in you know my chance I'm just going to test it out see, see how it works and because you have to test if you don't test then you don't really know what, what's kept, what you're capable of doing or not so again that's it for this video and I hope you guys enjoy that um, I'm still checking to see if the site is if it's connected as you can see LC hasn't connected yet so what I'm going to just pause is stop the video for now and in the next video I'm going to you know try and see if the WordPress is installed again. It, it said it, it may take some time to do that, but I hope you guys enjoy this and use the t use the tools that I've showed you in this um, in this video. Shoot, you know, research a topic that you're thinking about. You know, and, you know, make sure it's something that you're passionate about, something that you're interested in buying, or something you're interested 
and knowing more about because if it's not then you waste your time creating a site about it or something if you have no interest in it that's me I hope you guys enjoy that and have a great day also don't forget to comment um, on the site what you think about the video you know what can be improved or you know if it has helped you or you know whatever 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 else you want to know all right take it easy